how the meditation can change our body and the mind. So traditional, what we call our body is like horse and our mind is like rider. So body can influence our mind, mind can influence uh, the body. So what is the body? Normally what we call prana, bindu, nadi. So nadi is the nerves, the channels in the body. And um, bindu is the cells, which is the moving inside the nerves, inside the channels. And the prana is the energy, which is the things that push to moving. Things are moving because of prana. So prana is energy, like when we breathe in, is the gross level of our breath, is the gross level of prana, and then go to the lung and then entire body, and that helps like blood circulation, heart pumps, all these connect together independently. And the blood goes into the nerves, channels. So from the top of the head to bottom of the feet has prana bindu nadi. So I have a lot of discussion with the neuroscience and what they call neurons. So neuron is like tree, so these are nerves, the, um, uh, the nadi. And there's a neurotransmitters, that's the bindu, sometimes what we call top. Top is like cells. And then also there's a wave, the rhythm, there's electric um, charge. So these are the prana. So in the brain has all these things. So from the tradition, when we begin to meditate, all these prana, bindu, nadis are working. And normally what we call in the body, there's a three layers of the body. So gross level of body that what we can see, this is the gross body and the subtle body. Like in the dream, you have body. That's called subtle body. And in the body, that subtle body is like store the storehouse. Like people get trauma and the trauma is stored in the subtle body. Or what way we do something good, like when we begin to meditate and that meditation build the habitual, a tendency, habitual memory, good habitual memory is stored in the subtle body, in, in our body. So then there's another one is the wisdom body, which is like beyond time and matter. So it's very difficult to understand. So what we call like, when we look at in the mirror, we can see our reflection in the mirror and that reflection is kind of like form, but it's beyond time and matter. So that is the, the wisdom body or emptiness body. So first, when we begin to meditate, what happened? This gross level body changes and that giving a lot of impact to the subtle body, the unconscious body or subtle body or the, the body which is the storehouse, which is the memory store, the store the memory, store, store the habitual tendency. So therefore, through the meditation, everything changed in our body. Everything transformed with the awareness, with the love and compassion, with the wisdom. And in the past many years, I have been uh, working with the scientists. I'm guinea pig, like test subject. So during those time, I have a lot of discussion with the many scientists. And the, what neuroscientists said, first they discover the neuroplasticity. So someone, if maybe 20, 25 years before, neuroscientists doesn't believe that brain has capable of change. So if you're born with unhappy, rest of your life with the unhappy. If you're born with a little bit anxious, that's the no hope, rest of life with a bit anxious. If you're born with a little bit angry and rest of your life like that. But now they said, no, can change. So neuroplasticity. 
Then later they discover neural pathways. So the change makes new like highway in the brain. So highway of happiness, highway of loving kindness, highway of wisdom, highway of awareness. So that can transform in the brain. When transform in the brain, also throughout the body. And there's a recently discovered neurogenesis, even the gene expression changed by meditation. So therefore, if you're born with unhappy, no problem. You have hope and you can change, and especially through the meditation, easily change. Because when we meditate, what the scientists told me is, you can change your brain consciously, meaning you can change according to your wish. But normally our brain is always changing, but out of control because environment force us to change. The situation force us to change. And the different circumstances change, force us to change, even if we don't want to change. But through meditation, you can ask your brain to change, you can ask your mind to change. So that changing is the, is the kind of like, has a lot of freedom. So hopefully through the meditation, and you can change your mind, at, at the same time you can change your body. So horse can help to change the uh, rider, and rider can change the horse. The best is horse and rider walk together.